Hi everyone, welcome back to Fossil Adventures. So today we've come to Speeton, back again because we do like Speeton and um, we're just going to go on the Elmer's Coast this morning for an early uh, trip round but unfortunately Mark couldn't make it today so me and Chris ummed and hard and we thought right let's come to Speeton so here we are, let's see what we can find. But as you can see it's a uh, lovely morning, sun's just coming up and um, probably first on the beach which is always good. Tad's going out so we've got a um, a few hours collecting here and let's just see how we get on. So the sun's just coming up now so I've not had no uh, fans as such yet, a graph here and a cannonball but obviously it was empty so we didn't film it but lovely sunrise. I hope you can pick that up alright on there. So we're just uh, doing these rock fields down here now and just see what we can find. But that, that is beautiful, that. Hopefully, yeah, uh, that's captured on film because it's uh, that's why it's nice to get up early and come to the beach. Just spotted a nice uh, banamanite in there, if you can see it. It's sticking out of the flare. There you go. <coughs> Let's just pull him out. Oh, it's sticking. Oh, it's alright. It's got a nice big groove down the centre. Probably, is it like Akatophis or something like that? It's quite nice. I quite like that, that groove. I don't know if you can pick that up. It's quite good, I think I've got one like that. Keep that, pity they won't come out a bit further, but there we go, I quite like that. So let's just uh, see what else we can find. Just spotted there. Uh, a dack or something in there as well. It won't be great though. Never know. I can see him in there. Just peeking out. Yeah, very yeah. Uh, very worn. We'll maybe let Chris tap it, but I don't think I'll be taking it unless he wants to cut it. So I'm just going to wet it and leave it for someone. Yeah, just going to crack. See what happens. It's in there, but it's, it's yeah, it's not. It's very worn, as I said. So yeah. we're gonna leave that one anyway. Yeah. Actually, I'll take that and cut it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be okay. Well. So I picked uh, a couple of bits up anyway. So we're just gonna uh, keep going. Hopefully, coming up to the clay now. So in the cliffs, uh, we'll be having a look through there. See if we can find any more benamites and bits and bobs. So I just did a bit of uh, climbing up here guys and uh, <coughs> found a piece of ammonite which is just there, I hope you can see that, which is that piece there. Um, there's some more in here and it's going up under there but I think it's shot but we're just going to dig that bit out and just see so it's uh, definitely been in there 
just be a bit careful because there's a little bit of weight above it there so I'm just going to stand to one side but yeah as you can see but it's it's been in there a lot but that's just knackered just in the clay but that's my feet a bit more solid but we'll have a little dig around anyway but so they're there I mean, it's been a lovely ammonite but that's the type of preservation that we're uh, used to unfortunately it's beaten but We'll crack on anyway and we'll see what we can find. So it's a beautiful day, still nice and early. Let's see what we can find. So I spotted that uh, big part of an ammonite up there. It looks like someone's had a go at getting it out, but I don't know why they've left it. Even if it's only, whoops, sorry, parts. Whew. It's a decent size. Let's see what we can do with it. It's going back in and it's in a nodule as well. Maybe maybe no one hasn't got it out then. Whew. Hi. Right, I'll have to put the camera down and uh, I'm slipping down the hill here. I'm going to have a go for that. Uh, it's time for a new one. It's time for a new one. Right, so, um, as you can see, it was definitely worth coming up here. Um, I've got all that lot of the ammonite out. It's one of the etomorph ones, an uncoiled one. The small parts disappearing under there, not that you may be able to see it. And I think that's the end of the large part there. So I'm going to try and get all this lump out, to be fair, and maybe prep that at home. Because obviously, uh, with us not coming here, we didn't have no tools or anything like that, but the support crew's rocked up. So that was that was real good, and he's lent us some tools. So that's spot on, so he can be cameraman as well. Chris is just stuffing his face, look. Uh, all right, for some minute. Second breakfast, like a hobbit. Uh, I'm burning calories anyway, so I'll enjoy mine in a minute. There you go, over to the cameraman. Let's have a go. We're not sliding down there. I think that is the end of it there. It's not It's not going any further, I don't think. I'm going to get it out. So even though it's in clay, the clay is so sticky and hard. To get that I'm sure that's the end of there. I don't want to bray it too much. I'm going to have half the cliff down before we go on. <laughs> I think that is the end of it there. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit maybe. Maybe just on that edge. Mm. I'll take that just in there. Another bit for the bag. Take that bit as well. Might be better off getting chisel and I'll just chisel underneath here. Yeah. I'm trying to at least work, move it all and get it down to the bottom where it's at least a bit safer. It is actually in a nodule, but they're so they're cracked all the time and fragmented. But if we could get it out, the other bit's in there, so I don't mind having a go at prepping that at home. It's a bit more stable. Let's just get it out. I think we're there. I'm going to undermine it, I think. <laughs> get that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Flying down cliff. I think as well, that there, you just bring the camera around there, that. not that I'm ever going to be able to save it, but there the spans off it, that's where the body come round, and that's the span, so it has had some spans on it coming out the smaller part, but there's just, there's no chance you're going to get them out of there, I'm sure there isn't, let's see if I can get this piece off, I'll get that off, 
grass lifting just underneath here. Get this piece out of there. Because there's no bit that bit. On the edge is literally there. Easy. Right though. No, it's true. Yeah, that's, more. that's going that's going back in there, look. That's where I started following it round. That's where I got up to on the outer whale. Yeah, look, it's suited and it there. disappears into the side of this piece here. That's the outer whale. Started there, went round, and it's going back in there. Mm. So that bit is in there. So it looks like I'm carrying that on then today. Jesus. What? Might be able to get some more off it underneath here. Yeah, I, don't, yeah, I might take it down there and bray a bit. Definitely worth doing but that. There's been a, some of it's in there, look, whether that's another one. There's another one in there. Might be in a underneath. Yeah. And that's more span, I think. Mm. But I think it's because I've got now else to carry on, that, that is the end there because mm. the, the centre round off. Right, spot on. <laughs> we'll take that on then. Look at the size of that though. That's had some gaff on it there, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Spot on. Happy with that? Nice Happy one. days. Thank you.